Right then, this is a walk around video, and this is for a Honda CRV 2 litre EX automatic. Finished in white with a full black leather interior. Um, apart from the shade, by the way, because the um, in bright sunshine it really glares terribly. So, hopefully, this is the best way to pick up on anything that might be on the car. Not that there's a great deal, if anything at all, because the car's in absolutely beautiful condition. Um, Lights and lenses completely clear, intact, no cracks, no condensation. Front bumper really, really clean and tidy, including the bumper corners. Bonnet itself wonderfully clean. There's obviously a couple of microscopic um, stone chips, but they are very, very tiny indeed. Near side, passenger side, absolutely mirror smooth on the panels. It really is. It's been kept just so well, this car. Uh, near side front alloy, the one takes all the bashing and it's absolutely unmarked. Um, full set of Michelin tyres fitted to this car by the way. Uh, really good sign of ownership and it's been beautifully maintained throughout its life. Near side rear alloy, again, really lovely condition. And then to come around the back of the car, again bumper corners, very very clean and tidy. And then around to the offside, driver's side of the car. Again, just blemish free on the panels in terms of any indentations. Offside rear alloy, really good. There is a tiny bit of light curbing, but you can just see it just on there. And a tiny bit down there as well, but I mean, it is very, very light indeed, and I'm being very, very fussy. Um, and the remaining panels, absolutely beautiful. Final alloy, absolutely unmarked. I mean, it really is in absolutely stunning condition, this car. It's so coming to the boot area, absolutely huge boots in the CRVs. Um, and unlike some, which have been used for their purpose, this has been treated very, very, very gently. So all the plastics, all the fabrics are in really lovely condition. It's so coming to the back of the car, Big wide opening rear doors give you really easy access um, and it's in just fantastic condition again. Massive amounts of rear leg room. It really is kind of limousine style in the back and those front seats are set for me and I'm over six foot tall so I'm not cheating. Uh, leather work has been kept really really nicely as well. The problem with CRV like a lot of SUVs and cars designed to carry kids about particularly is that they can be bashed about in the back and that's nothing to do with build quality it's just kids and as I know to my cost yeah, but this has been treated very very nicely coming to the front passenger door card now again all very very clean all the little recesses have been yeah, kept really nicely there is a full set of original honda mats fitted to the car again all in really nice condition the front passenger seat there again beautiful condition so finally just to come to the driver's door card which matches the other in terms of its condition as well um, Electric memory seats, you've got um, two memory settings on these, which is really handy for different drivers driving the car. Um, leather, seat, leather work on the driver's seat again, absolutely blemish free. Right, so inside the car now, engine's running through this section, so the dash can actually be seen illuminated here. I mean, it looks absolutely as new in here in terms of the quality of the finish on the dashboard. It is in beautiful condition. See there, sat nav working exactly as it should. I'll pop the car into reverse get that lovely clear gridded parking camera as well and dual zone climate control system just the way it's just every little bit has been kept really really nicely on the car and come across that's kind of the view you get as a driver of the dashboard it looks absolutely superb as well pan in there hopefully you can see 55,906 miles and the only light on is the low fuel light which pinged on on the test drive which the way the editing works it comes after this but was actually done slightly before this as you can check by the mileage um, but it really is in fabulous condition just quickly show you owner's manual pack lock and wheel nut key are both here in present with the car so finally just to come under the engine bay which as always with honda is presented really really nicely and what a joy to see an engine you can actually see rather than sort of huge plastic shields covering everything up, including maintenance points. Uh, wonderful, wonderful engines, these. Right then, this is a quick road test video, and this is for a Honda CRV 
2 litre EX automatic. This particular car is registered LG63 GFO and mileage at the start of the road test is 55,900 miles. The reason we do the videos is basically so that anyone that's looking at the car online in an advert actually gets to see the car in operation. Uh, we know how frustrating it can be to go and see a car which looks great in the advert and in the pictures only to drive it and find out it's got a problem whilst to drive the vehicle. Um, so hence that's why we do it, we can feedback anything that will sh show up whilst you're driving along. Um, the road test is also done on part of the road test route, any customer would go on if offered a test drive. Um, the reason for that is that it will hopefully, hopefully then be representative of what you'd feel yourself it, um, of, of, if offered a test drive in the car. So coming to the car itself, a uh, very well maintained vehicle and it feels like it's straight away because the car is incredibly tight, um, it's lovely. Um, engine starts absolutely first, press of the button of course, settles to an absolutely even and smooth idle. There are no warning lights on the dashboard at all relating to the engine or any other part of the car. Temperature gauge running as a third, which is exactly where it should be on a Honda car, whether it be petrol, diesel or otherwise. Uh, so absolutely spot on. It's been running for quite some time now. Sorry for the bit, if it's a bit glary this morning. It's uh, early in the morning. Um, I'm trying to do this while the weather's good before I uh, forecast to rain rather heavily later on. The engines themselves are just lovely, lovely units. It's just everything what Honda's good at, basically. Um, and it's so smooth, it's so keen to rev, uh, without getting any harsh or tight as it gets into the upper rev ranges. So it makes the engine accessible throughout the entire rev range. Um, but it's also very flexible. You know, it's got more guts than you'll give it credit for. It's got keen throttle response to get going and that's helped by the gearbox with the, uh, the ratios they put into it to extract the best from the engine and um, the good thing with obviously Honda engines of course is they're cam chain driven on this generation so there's no uh, big cam belt services and these engines have a reputation for reliability and longevity which is completely unmatched in its class it is a really really tough engine Engine then feeds through into Honda's automatic gearbox, which as you'd expect from Honda, is lovely and smooth. Um, and the gear changes really is fabulous. Um, it can be used manually, albeit hardly any of everyone, anyone ever really uses it. Um, you've basically got two paddles on either side of the steering wheel. Left hand one you pull to go down the gearbox, right hand one to go up. At times I've used it, um, rare as it is, because I tend to leave it in drive pretty much the whole time. Um, if you're going to do an overtaking manoeuvre, automatics have a habit of wanting to change up because they don't know what you're doing they haven't got eyes to see what's coming up ahead and uh, so it's quite nice to be able to control when the car's going to change up rather than change up halfway through and overtake so if i was going to do an overtaking maneuver now i'm pulled down on this one it's selected to be fourth gear i go down to third put my foot down accelerate past change up using this one when i'm ready then when i'm finished i just leave it alone and within a few seconds it'll just go back to um blank on the screen as it's done now um, and into full automatic mode it's as simple as that you don't have to pull gear levers over or press switches you just pull the tabs on the steering wheel but all working exactly as it should um, even though the gearbox is like the engine got a reputation for you know amazing reliability and toughness still do the basic checks on them just make sure that when you select drive there's no kind of delays or thunks when it engages into gear um, and also that the um, gear changes themselves are very smooth and it's perfect in that sense. Uh, but these are designed for you know, a couple hundred thousand miles at least, so that it is a very, very tough gearbox. Brakes on the car, I'll do it now because we're going to the junction, I can leave a bit late. Nice solid brake pedal on the car. What I'm looking for is just making sure that the brake pedal feels nice and firm, which it does, uh, but also that there's no pulsing or vibrations coming back through the brake pedal and there's nothing at all, it's exactly as it should be. Um, it also pulls the car up nice and straight by the way, it doesn't sort of pull violently left or right. That's just the fuel light pinging on, nothing to worry about, I'll put some more fuel in as and when. Um, steering of the car, it's always been a strong point on the CLVs because it's so nicely done, it tracks absolutely dead straight, um, pulls, uh, uh, there's no vibrations rather at this speed or any speed up to the legal limit. Um, but it's just such a nice power steering setup, it's, it feels very positive, very, very precise um, when used on the road. 
and it matches the chassis perfectly absolutely perfectly and I can't feel any wear in it at all the chassis itself is an absolute class act um, Honda know this market intimately being the best seller with the uh, uh, CRV worldwide it's uh, it's amazing um, success for Honda um, and you can see why because it just it does it all perfectly the, the ride is really well judged it's very compliant it rides bumps like that really nicely you can feel them but they don't jar at all uh, but it maintains really good body control through the corners and that's really important particularly for backseat passengers and kids in the back because um, if you turn the steering wheel and the thing just keels over and just flops around where you know they go for a softly sprung setup uh, so it's you know very sort of smooth on the straight ahead but it just makes it hideously unpleasant through the corners and these cars are brilliant in that respect absolutely brilliant they've got great body control um, it's also uh, there's no kind of nasty noises coming up from underneath the vehicle um, you'll hear it hitting the bump but no kind of chatterings and knocking noises there at all but it feels just pretty much as new to drive in all honesty um, looking around inside the car it's in beautiful condition in here and they are fantastic places to sit and drive a car because you've got really good visibility and um, quite slim pillars on the front um, and you sat because you sat high you get the elevated um, view of the road but you just got a good the dashboard comes down reasonably low so you've got a really nice view out of the front yeah you can actually see the bonnets which is a miracle is that rarely see it on cars um, but the driving position is perfect obviously helped by the fact that you've got a electric driver's seat with memory settings so you know you can make a multitude of adjustments to get yourself comfortable but they've got a naturally good driving position anyway um, what the videos can't get across to you but is, is sensational in the car is the build quality there's not a hint of a squeak or a buzz from the inside of the car they are beautifully beautifully put together and but they're also fabulously easy to drive i mean everything everything working in the car by the way aircon pumps lovely and cold heated seats work perfectly all been checked um sat nav as you can see they're functioning exactly as it should but it's the quality of the switch gear it's got that lovely kind of rubberized damped feel to it it's just really precise and you just know because we've sold them with well over 100,000 miles and they'll feel exactly the same they just don't seem to wear internally in that way um, but it's just beautifully beautifully done dashboard simplicity itself steering wheel looks and feels pretty much as new in hand it's quite small in diameter makes it feel kind of quite dinky to drive which is really nice um, but again all the functions checked and working uh, they are four-wheel drive vehicles um, albeit Honda worked out very quickly that most people will be driving in conditions as I am now in perfectly good roads so why have the four-wheel drive wearing away so it doesn't it runs in two-wheel drive front-wheel drive um, only as and when it needs to uh, be a four-wheel drive it'll sense it because if your wheels spin on a bit of ice or snow or mud it automatically brings in the rear wheels to give you four-wheel drive and it's seamless it's absolutely brilliant and I've used tens of ten dozens of CRVs um, towing caravans got some pretty muddy pictures and never got close to getting stuck with one uh, they're very very efficient and its simplicity means they're incredibly reliable as well we've never so much as put a spanner on one of these things we've sold thousands of them over the last 20 years or so um, also the the nature of the system means you don't use uh, as much fuel um, the tires don't get worn as quickly and you don't put as much mechanical stress to the car um, so it's a win-win situation with it um, but as I said at the start of the video the point of it is just to show the car in operation uh, it drives absolutely beautifully I cannot fault the car at all um, and I'm not giving it any allowance for age or mileage uh, it just it does it by any measurement um, as always though if you've got any questions about the car don't hesitate do give us a call